Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a Dutch pour. And we're going to use this 8x8 eight eight hexagon canvas for that. So, let's get started. We're going to use some teals and some purples and a gold. Um, as you guys know, September is Suicide Awareness Month, or if you didn't know. And the colors for that ribbon are teal and purple. So I'm doing a few pieces this month for that. I did a beautiful piece yesterday. It did not turn out the way I wanted it to, but it did turn out beautiful nonetheless. So, and that video should be up probably before this one, if not after this one. So, probably more likely before this one. Okay. So, let's... Hopefully this is dry and I'm not going to get any paint on here. I forgot to clean this off. So, we're just going to push this paint out. And this is um, Artist Loft Flow Acrylic in White. Mixed with Flow Trawl and Water. I just want to get this to the edges. Nice thin coat. So our little town, I have to tell you guys, our little town is freaking out right now because Jason Momoa, uh, Aquaman, Game of Thrones, all that, he is in town, in our little town, filming a movie. And everybody is going ballistic. I'm like, leave the poor guy alone. Let him work. He's staying in a crappy little hotel in our tiny little town. Just let him live his life. I know he's famous and all that and yada yada. You know, that's the price you pay for being famous. But let him eat. Let him work, let him eat, quit hanging out of this hotel room or hotel parking lot waiting for him to come so you can ask him for a picture. Crazies. Crazies. I've actually never seen any of his movies, um, but I have seen some videos on Facebook that he did talking about his wife and his children and I think he is a beautiful man for the things that he said and the way he is with his family. More so than the way he looks or any role he's played, you know? So, okay. We're good to go. I think I got all the corners good enough for now. And we are going to do this in a two-part way. So I'm going to use turquoise green from Academy Acrylics. And what's the best way to do this? So I have an idea in my head, but you guys know how that never works out for me. So I think I'm going to do a puddle pour here. Let's just go like this. And this is the cobalt teal from Master's Touch. It's a thick body. We'll do some more turquoise green, some more cobalt. A little bit more dark, and then we'll do a touch of Deco Arts 24 karat gold right in the center. Okay. Then I'm gonna do dioxazine purple. Dioxazine Purple and Prism Violet from Liquitex Basics. Dioxazine Purple, Prism Violet, and some Dioxazine Purple, and then, I oh, forgot my lid on that one. And a little bit of gold. Okay. 
Then we're going to take white and we're going to flood around both these. I might have to, you know what? I'm going to do that. I'm going to make a smaller one underneath here. That. That. Darn it. I was doing good. Okay, just a drop of gold in there. One drop. Okay. Let's do another small one over here. Dioxazine. Prism. Dioxazine. Prism. And a little bit more dioxazine and then a drop of let me wipe these off before I put the lids back on and a drop of gold in the center of this one and there we go okay now we'll do the white around Okay. All right, let's close these and move them out of the way. Wipe this one off. Okay, put the cap on the white. All right, let's torch this. Pop the bubbles that are coming through here. And then we are going to blow these out. I'm going to go on low, I think. Kind of lost my purple over here. Hmm. <laughs> I think I'm gonna do a little bit more purple since I lost a bunch of it. Really get much out of that gold, did I? pyramid.
kind of eating my colors here. work on the purple side real quick and then we'll work on the teal side There's lots of white on there okay Turn this and let's work on the teal side. Okay. Sure makes you dizzy. All right, that is super pretty. Kind of feel like this blue over here, though. I guess it's okay. did want some gold, but let me get rid of this purple that's under here. And we'll just put some white on there. Okay, anywhere else. I kind of like that, like smoky behind the behind the white. Kind of like that. So I think I'll leave that. These corners on the hexagons, they do not like to keep paint. It's pretty hard to get it to stay on there. Okay, just making sure all my sides are covered. Okay, one more. I absolutely love Dutch pours, so beautiful. Let's torch this and see what we can get. to do 
I wanted it to be like a butterfly, but that purple went too far in there. And it did not spread out the way I wanted it to. Kind of want to spread this purple a little bit more. What do you guys think? I kind of wish some more of that gold would have showed up. I have a tiny tad bit over here in the corner, but that's it. But I'm kind of wanting this blue to come out here. I see that there's some under here. So. Let's sneak it out of there. Nope, it's just swallowing back up. Just swallowed it back up. Super pretty. I like this one. I like it. I like it. That one spot. Why? One more little spot. Cover that blue. Okay. There we go. And we could kind of just there we go, just little hints of blue in there. All right. Super pretty. I wonder why my white is kind of swallowing my colors this time. It's the same white I've been using, so I don't know what happened to it. Why all of a sudden it's doing that. Okay, just fix up these corners again where I touch them. All right, so I'll probably end up doing something with this one too. Um, 
I was thinking about maybe resining it and putting some um, embellishments on it or some uh, some vinyl uh, sticker on it with some with a saying or something. I don't know. I think it turned out super pretty. I'm gonna go ahead and torch it again and see if we get anything else to come up. Got a little bit of lacing, a little bit of cells. Super pretty. I absolutely love teal and purple together. It's so gorgeous. So let's turn this so you guys can see. I like that. Isn't that pretty? Look at that. Oh my gosh, I love it. I absolutely love this piece. Cover up those corners again. If I can get these corners to stay covered. Just does not want to stay covered. Okay. All right, guys. I think that's it. I'm not going to mess with it anymore. I'm going to leave it the way it is. Um, I may embellish it later. Um, but we'll see. We'll see what I end up deciding. Otherwise, I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out. Uh, let me know what you think down in the comments. Okay, and if you um, are enjoying my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and you click that little bell for notifications so that you get notified when I post new videos. And I just appreciate, appreciate all your guys' love and support. Thanks for watching.